Do you like school? Do you enjoy studying, revision, tests, working out, reading, running, hard work, hard yet beneficial work? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, probably not. Wait, no, definitely not. You clicked on this video. <laughs> you know what? I did not either. I fucking hated it. I hated working out. I was known as the kid who never studied, did homework, never did anything that was hard. I hated it too. So how is it that you can trick your brain to enjoying it as if it was the most fun thing in the entire world with boredom? Now, I want to tell you a story, something that you can imagine. Imagine you were locked in a cave, a empty cave with nothing to do for 10 hours straight. No food, no water, no nothing to do. You were locked in a cave for 10 hours, then after that 10 hours, someone threw in your homework. Your homework you had been putting off for weeks upon weeks upon weeks, they threw it in. You're still locked in, you can't get out. I guarantee you 100% that you would do that homework because it is better than boredom. It is literally the only thing that you would do. You would enjoy it because it's something that's not boring. You see, our minds, our brains will always, always be attracted to the most stimulating thing in the room. However, nowadays, in the modern world, in the modern society, we don't live in a locked in cave. That's fucking weird. However, it's not too dissimilar. You're in your room. You're studying. Your room, it's... You're trying to revise. It's boring. It's really boring. You don't want to do it. You don't want to revise. You look across the room on that desk. You see your phone. What a surprise. You go to your phone. The more stimulating thing in your room. They're both the same. So how on earth can we use boredom to our, to our advantage so we can trick our brain into enjoying hard work, tough yet beneficial work. When you have something that you want to do, when you have that hard task, that tough work, that hard yet beneficial work that you want to do, make it the most stimulating thing in the room. So when you want to do that hard thing, so for example, revising, you want to revise for that test, make it the most interesting, exciting thing in the room. So say you're sat in your room, take out all the things that's more stimulating your phone put it in another room put it somewhere else that tv unplug it put it in another room whatever or literally just go sit in another room go sit in the living room right where there's nothing in there make it so where the thing you want to do is the most exciting stimulating thing there let yourself simmer let yourself be bored for a bit when you actually end up doing that work, you will end up enjoying it because it's better than being bored. Your mind will automatically go to the most stimulating thing in the room. So make that tough work the most exciting thing in the room. When you want to go work out, make yourself bored so you want to get up and drive to the gym or walk to the gym. When you want to read, make it so that book is the only interesting thing in that room. And this is how you can trick your brain into enjoying hard work. But obviously, like... If you just took that advice to heart and you didn't do anything else, like, that's not that smart. Like, I don't want you to take out all the interesting things in your life and live a boring life for the rest of your life. No, don't do that. Don't be an idiot, all right? This is only something that will work when you want to do something that you've been putting off. That hard work that you've not been enjoying. This is something that you do then. Don't make your life completely boring and that the only stimulating thing in work is, in life is work. Obviously, that's not a healthy way to live. Use your head, mate. <laughs> so just do this when there is something that you've been putting off and there is something that you need to do. I want to clarify that. I'm sure most of you got that. You guys are smart. But, you know, there's going to be some idiot out there who didn't get that. Me. I would not have got that. I would have been an idiot and I would have made my whole life boring. That's why I'm clarifying this, because I'm stupid. Anyway, another video is going to pop up in the corner. You can click on it with it. If, if you want, you know, it would probably help you out too if this one did. Hopefully this video helped you out. Stay consistent and don't give up. Alright, so I'm